They're now up to 2,800 employees here. That's up 800 over the last couple years. Now, your pinpoint weather first. By this time tomorrow, we'll be talking some big time changes all across Kansas. So here's the finer details to let you know what exactly is happening as we head into tomorrow. Take a look at this temperatures in the 30s and falling throughout the daytime hours. Windy as well. And yes, I've got the flurry theme going on. I do believe we will see some flurries across most of Kansas tomorrow. However, by the weekend, temperatures back to the 50s. Lots of sunshine, so milder for us, but that won't last too long. Our lows this morning were mainly in the 20s. They're going to get a lot colder over the next couple of days. Here's how things stack up for tomorrow. Only in the 30s. More on this in a couple of moments. Thanks, JD. 30 million umbrella at foxkansas.com. Now your pinpoint weather forecast. Hi everyone. We talked about it yesterday saying that today would be windy and we'd see some flurries, not to mention a little light snow in some areas. And that's exactly what happened across the majority of Kansas. Take a look at our radar picture last in Goodland 25 for Hayes right now. Closer look into into Wichita, I should say 30 degrees. North winds at 31 makes it feel half as warm. Only 15 degrees up the road in Salina 25. Let's take a closer look into Dodge City, though, where it's 24 right now. North winds at 15 make it feel more like 11 degrees. At least it's above zero right now. By tomorrow morning, some of those wind chills could be below zero. Keep that in mind. Tonight, the clouds will continue to break apart. Bitterly cold winds around 15 for the actual air temperature. You factor in the wind, wind chills sub zero at times. Tomorrow afternoon, we may not even make it above freezing low 30s for highs, but at least we've got the sun. We've also got a lot of wind as well. We take a look at your custom forecast all across Kansas for tonight. Clearing sky from west to east. Look at some of these overnight lows. These are the air temperatures factoring in that stout wind tonight. Sub zero for tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon temperatures hovering just around the freezing point, maybe a couple degrees warmer, a fair amount of sunshine and a lot of that wind to boot. I do see things warming up, though. There is a light at the end of this tunnel here in your Wichita Weekly. It happens on Saturday and Sunday as temperatures get back into the 50s. The thing is, though, it's not going to last all that long. Looks like another shot of cold air coming up for the middle part of next week. May even squeeze out a sprinkle or two on Monday. Congratulations to Melissa Mullen of Wichita. Tonight's weather umbrella winner. You can pick up your prize at the Fox Studios on the west side of Wichita. If you would like to win, go to foxkansas.com and get yourself registered. That win today, impressive. Oh, horrible. You're going to need the coat, the gloves, the hat, the whole nine yards for tomorrow. It's going to be right back in full force. It just cuts right to the it bone. sure does. All right, thanks, J.D. Coming up, the iPod and iPad changed life as we know it. Could ITV be next? Plus, former President Eisenhower's family wants a couple changes made to his monument in Washington, D.C. We'll tell you all about it when the News at 9 continues all across Kansas right after this. Now, your pinpoint weather forecast. Well, believe it or not, the warm up for the weekend actually started today. If you keep in mind, yesterday's high temperatures struggled to make the low 30s. Today, it was a lot better as we head toward the weekend, even warmer for us. And here's kind of why. This is our weekend setup across the southern part of the country. Two things are happening. One of them just off to the right side of your screen is an area of high pressure just off of the Gulf Coast states. It's going to be moving in air from the south and southeast. At the same time, an area of high pressure off to our south and southwest will help usher in some warmer air from the desert southwest. So both those air masses kind of meeting up in the middle and the middle happens to be Kansas. So what this means for us, especially as we head into Sunday, are these few things. Temperatures back to the 50s, if not the 60s on Sunday in some parts of Kansas. A fair amount of sunshine for us too. The only downside, it's going to turn windy by Sunday afternoon. But tomorrow, not seeing it being all that windy. Let's check how things did high temperature wise today and a couple locations actually made it into the 50s. Medicine Lodge made 53. Liberal you made 50 today. Meantime, other areas. Well, it wasn't terrible. 40s for daytime highs, although if you look off to the east, only made 31 today in Kansas City. Where do things stand right now in Wichita? As we've seen the last couple of nights, once we get into these evening hours, temperatures really start to cool down. So we're at 28 right now, officially at the airport. Southwest winds at 7 makes it feel more like 21 degrees. The dew point 
a lot more than it was last night. It's at least at 19 degrees. Other readings across the state at this hour look like this. We've still got some low 30 numbers going on in portions of western Kansas. Meantime, Salina 25 degrees. Hayes sitting at 30 degrees. A closer look into Dodge City, or excuse me, Great Bend, I should say, 30 degrees right now with west winds at 8 miles an hour. Other readings, though, to the east are certainly colder. 25 in Kansas City right now, and our wind speeds they're not bad. They're kind of light across portions of central Kansas, more in the way of, say, 10 to 15 miles an hour in the western part of the state. Dodge City's wind speed out of the west at 13. So, yeah, there is a little bit of a bite on those temperatures. Take a look. Feels more like the 20s across most of Kansas. There are a couple of exceptions that feel more like the teens here this evening. I want to show you the satellite and radar picture. And if you look closely here in portions of Nebraska, a little bit of in weather terms, junk with this little minor system as it moves its way through. I don't think anything that's going to move into our neck of the woods at all. It's actually going to slide its way off to the south and southeast. Watch the satellite picture in motion last 24 hours. Had a few clouds hang on in portions of south central and southeast Kansas earlier today and now here this evening this second batch of some mid to high level clouds should make its way to the state overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning but really that's going to be about all that we get this minor little system here this junk if you will slides off to the south and southeast that's as close as we get to any kind of real weather action over the next 48 hours here's our storm projector showing us by tomorrow morning there is that system in question it's on its way off to the east but take a look at this a warm front setting up in the western part of kansas by midday tomorrow i think most of us make the 50s for daytime highs tomorrow then it's tomorrow night as this front makes its way across the state things will start to slowly warm up and by the time we get to say about sunday afternoon it's going to be a very mild day, not to mention it's going to be on the windy side. Let's check out your custom forecast across the entire state for tonight. Mainly some high clouds overnight tonight. Temperatures down in the 20s, so not as cold as it was last night. But don't get me wrong, this is still January. It's still going to be a little bit nippy when you wake up tomorrow morning. Daytime highs tomorrow should reach the 50s for everybody. Winds out of the west to about 5 to 15 miles an hour. There is a cold snap, though, in our future. Take a look here at your Wichita Weekly. You'll see that coming into play on Tuesday. There's going to be a cold front making its way into the state on Monday. That'll cool our temperatures down. As far as moisture goes, man, I'm just really not seeing it. Maybe we squeeze something out that night, but the odds look slim. As we head toward Thursday and Friday, though, it looks like temperatures already start to warm back up. I talked a little bit last night about some cold air trying to move into Kansas. I think that actually gets pushed more to the east, so maybe just slightly cooler in some areas. Areas. Otherwise, this is a dry forecast, a little cold on Tuesday all across the state before temperatures start to warm up by Thursday and Friday of next week. Congratulations goes out to Daniel Abernathy of Satanta, tonight's weather umbrella winner. If you want to pick up your prize, you have to come to these Fox studios on the west side of Wichita. And if you would like to win a Fox Kansas weather umbrella, just go to foxkansas.com and get yourself all signed up and you could be a big winner. You're going to be outside in skirt and high heels and everything this weekend, aren't you? Oh, yeah. It's going to be that you nice. Know, because of that weather turned junk, yeah. You like that, huh? I do. Thank you, J.D. Yeah. Coming up a little later on the news at 9, Newt goes there, reminding voters Mitt Romney put the family dog on the roof of a car. And this is why it's bad to drink and fly. The news at 9 continues all across Kansas right after this. Hey Kansas, it's Jeff Horning out here at Mel Hamilton Ford, your original pre-owned truck volume dealer, where we have the best selection of anybody in the entire state. Ford, Chevy, Dodge.